I grew up in a Christian family. However, my idea of who God was was very misconstrued. I had the false perception that I needed to live up to a certain standard of morality in order to be acceptable to God, which I obviously couldn't do as a mischievous third child. And so I was left feeling guilty and ashamed for most of my childhood. As I entered university, I went down a path of destruction. I was drinking excessively, having fleeting encounters with people, um, and I was really alone and hurting myself. At the end of uni, I travelled overseas to visit my sister who was at Bible College. She dragged me along to church and while I was there, I cried out to God. I asked God to show me if he was real and that I needed a sign. When I was travelling home, I was at the airport and long story short, I was given a upgrade to first class on my flight home. I thought that it had to be God um, that had heard my cry and he was giving me a sign that he was real and that he was listening to me. I would have hoped that this would have been the end of the story and that I would have lived a faithful Christian life from this point forward. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. I continued down a destructive path for quite some time and I wound up in places that I never would have dreamt that I could have ended up. It came to a point where I was exposed. I came clean to my family and my loved ones about the way that I was living. And to my great astonishment, I wasn't met with condemnation. I was met with a response of love. And this is where my journey with Christ began. I learned that God's response to my brokenness was love and I found that he met me right in the very midst of my brokenness. God was too kind to whisk me out of that place, um, but he has restored me and walked me through a path of healing. And he hasn't left anything untouched or unturned. He has prepared me for each stage of healing and he has shown me who I truly am um, as a child of God and he has restored Lydia.